What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the rear brake shoes and drum on a Mark VI Fiesta. This is the brake shoes inside the drum. Firstly, remove the retaining clip on each side. Then remove the spring clips. This should allow you to pull the shoes off and remember to remove the handbrake cable. Go round the back and crack off the brake hose. You may want a bucket or something to catch any fluid that comes out. And then you can use a 10mm to remove the two bolts holding on the wheel cylinder. Then remove the brake pipe and pull the cylinder out. Use some brake cleaner to clean the area. The brakes work better if the area is clean and fresh. Use a wire brush to remove any old brake debris. And then replace with a new wheel cylinder and bolt it into place. Then use some copper grease to lube up the contact areas. Put your new location pins in. Then take the handbrake side shoe and reattach the cable and hang it on the location pin. Then place on the retaining pin. You can then attach the other shoe and retainer pins. You then need to replace the top spring. You can then put the handbrake self adjuster on. You then need to replace the bottom spring. This can be extremely difficult. My advice is to get a friend to help you, hold the shoes in place and use a decent set of needle nose pliers and pre-stretch the spring before installing. Lube up the axle with some grease before installing, reinstalling the drum. If you aren't using new drums, a good idea before installing is to use sandpaper to remove the lip on the edge of the drum. This will help with reinstalling and the handbrake adjustment. To adjust the handbrake, you need to turn this using a screwdriver until the shoes are just slightly touching the inside of the drum. You, you can then reinstall the drum and bleed the brakes as normal. Yeah, 
Get it closed. So there we go guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it informative and I hope you can uh, do the brakes yourself. I hate doing drums, that like, you know, they're a really, really old design. I don't know why they don't just make um, like discs and pads for all cars. Like even new cars I see sometimes still have drums on the back. I just don't, I can't see how that's more cost effective. There's more parts, they're so much more of a struggle to work on. I just don't get it, just stick with pads and and this but if you want to change your shoes and drums on the rear of a mark 6 fiesta then i hope this guide is uh, helpful for you lots of tools involved you may need someone else it's just one of those things but you might be able to do it a bit easier yourself i don't know but yeah use this video as a guide and i hope you found it quite informative and i hope you can do it yourself cost saving mad parts only cost me like 70 quid so yeah really really, really good but guys um please hit that subscribe button don't forget to like the video and i will see you in my next video cheers